Hey guys, my name is Words. If you upgraded from Affinity Photo 1 to Affinity Photo 2, you might have noticed there's a lot of changes. Some of them can be quite frustrating. For me, my biggest frustration was the selection tool pointer. So let's go see what I'm talking about real quick. So if I go here trying to get one of my dandy pictures. Now in Affinity Photo 1, when you want to do some cut selection, you would just click and then when you're trying to grow it, it'll be a circle. And now what you see right now is a Corsair. Now, if you want to turn it into a circle, the first thing you need to check, make sure that your caps lock on your keyboard is not on. If it is on, then you're going to have a Corsair to change it. Like if I activate the caps lock, now it changed to a circle. So now I can just go here and start doing my cut the way that I'm used to in Affinity Photo 1. So that's the main culprit most of the time. Now I scoured the internet and looking in the forms for Affinity Photo 2 and I still couldn't find an answer for it. And I bought the software back when they first came out with it for upgraded, but I stopped using it because it was frustrating and also it was crashing. Now months later when I came back to it to make sure that the software is stable and everything, then I still get the issue with the Corsairs. That's when I start messing around with things, trying to figure out. I look everywhere in the forums, I couldn't find anything. Now, you would see in uh, some of the forums articles that some people will tell you to go to the settings. So if you go to the settings and then you go to here and then they want you to go to the user interface. They want you to make sure that option where it says always show brush Corsair. As you can see, mine is off, but if I go and turn on caps and then it will turn into a Corsair. So make sure your caps lock is not on your keyboard and you should be good to go. Now that's all I got for these quick tips. Uh, it was frustrating and I've been using Affinity Photo 1 for a few years. And then with the version 2, I start having some issues having to kind of learn everything else. But you know, it is what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.